Alrighty, welcome back to the scroll campaign. I hope everyone is doing well. And yeah, this has been an incredibly, incredibly stressful and also I'd like to think exciting campaign so far. Uh, very quick status of the campaign. We did confederate Clan Spittle over here. Let me go ahead and zoom in my map because I am obsessive compulsive about that. So we've got... Uh, our empire has grown to incorporate these settlements over here all the way down to here. So we gained four. We've actually kind of intentionally left this one abandoned with uh, because we knew there was no way we could defend it. And yet Itza has not taken that one. However, Itza is moving down here towards the one that we don't want to lose, which is the Altar of the Horned Rat, which is a walled city. So I kind of assumed... It was in good shape to defend itself, but it won't be if Gorok is here in the obscured area that we can't see right now, waiting to follow up and ha have these two armies hitting, hitting this city together. That would be a bit of a disaster. All this army has in it right now are just Skaven Slaves. Skaven Slaves plus the Clan Rats that are defending here. Yeah, definitely not going to be enough to hold two armies of Lizards. Probably wouldn't be enough to hold a single army of lizards if it's led by Gorok and uh, and has good good units in it. So uh, anyway, it is what it is. Let's uh, I guess go ahead and go over the the rest of the strategic overview. We won a major battle against the dwarfs over here, and we did it with our two smaller armies, leaving Skrulk here with his full movement, and we could basically move in any direction we want to with him. Unfortunately, because of how much slower everything moves in, in our campaigns, because of the, the mod that we're using to deliberately do a, exactly that, we can't get to anything right away. We could probably get to Thrice Cursed Peak in two turns, but that is unfortunately a garrison of 20 units. It is not a... Um, a walled city but it is still going to be a minor settlement battle that's not exactly something I relish I would have to I would I would want to siege it down a little bit before attacking it and I'm just not sure we have time for that so alternatively we could move Skrulk down towards cakes here which is or K K K kayaks which is only 13 this is much more doable but we don't exactly know where Tehenowin is. We could also bring it over here against the Southern Sentinels. This is a 20 stack and a walled city, but uh, Chupa Yodel over here, that is certainly quite vulnerable. And we do have an objective to try to take this over. So I think right now I'm leaning towards either Chupa Yodel or Kayax. We'll take a look at the strength of the Southern Sentinels and the Cult of Sotek before we make that decision. But back to our, um, our events here. I need to go through these, just make sure I haven't forgotten anything in particular. We got a magic item right there. Okay, so this is a Warlock Augmented Weapon that we do want to give to somebody because it's too good to not be using it. So let's give it to Skrulk. I don't see why not. Okay, easy decision there. He didn't already have a weapon. We did unlock a Regiment of Renown. This is just Clan Rats with shields. But we have the money to go ahead and recruit him if we think that we're going to be fighting a battle imminently. Oh, and then we have, of course, we have our, our rank gained here because of the battle that we just fought. I'm going to turn down the volume on my game just a little bit. I can barely hear myself talk, which is probably the way most people would prefer it. But I kind of need to, <clears throat> excuse me, I kind of need to be able to know what I'm saying. Okay, I have enough trouble making sense as it is uh, without not being able to hear myself. Okay, let's go with uh, continuing. Now, uh, yeah, let's go with... Wait a minute. Do you have... I have not assigned any particular unit type to you, nor to you, nor to Skrulk. I think 
let's go ahead and give you pack leader because for the foreseeable future we are going to definitely be using lots of clan rats and maybe skaven slaves as well so your movement at this point is pretty well spent but what i could do i could get you into march stance in a direction to help support Lord Skrulk. Let's take a quick look now at who's weakest. So Itza is roughly of the same strength that we are. Southern Sentinels are quite weak. Cult of Sotek is quite weak. I'm pretty tempted here. Sotek only has these two settlements. I don't remember if it's still High Elves down here or if it's someone else. I'm kind of tempted to try to eliminate the Southern Front. Take If we can knock Sotek out of the war, then it won't be four against one anymore. It will only be three against one. That seems to me like it's achievable and worth doing. So I'm going to race Skrulk down this way. I feel like, th you know, I should have looked at the the last episode again, because now I, th I feel like I was just down here and I decided not to do it because it was too well defended. But I'm kind of committed now. You can go ahead and move this. Well, I'm not committed because I could obviously swing him around and move him towards the, uh, the southern sentinels instead. And then... Up here, do we have... We cannot recruit any heroes. This is unfortunate because... Oops, not there. Right here. I would like to be able to... Nope, can't do it. I would really like to be able to get eyes on this area right here. This is really frustrating that I don't know where Gorok is. I could also recruit in... This, it's only 500, he costs 140 per turn, but if they do attack us here, that would obviously be a big help. I think I'm going to do it. So that's if they attack us over this end turn, and meanwhile... I don't, I'm obviously in the negative here on my income, but I'm going to try to recruit in, what do we have? We got nothing but crappy units, but so let's, let's just get ourselves some more crappy units. Oops, that's more than we could build. Everything globally is two turns, okay. Um, at the very least, he'll be able to provide some public order with these crappy units. Okay, and then Skrulk, you've moved. Kakronid here, you've moved. Scrot, you have a little bit of movement left. They have not almost nothing left. I want you to stay close to them. Just in... Okay, we can't reach, but we could probably get a little bit closer here. Just in case they try to jump over the mountain, you have a chance of intercepting them. And I think, even though these units are such utter rubbish, the Lord himself, plus the menace below, I think would allow us to win this battle, even though he would get a, a replacement Lord there. Meanwhile, we're two turns away from getting a nice, a nice upgrade here to our garrison building. I'm not going to build this just yet, because we're doing okay for food. I'm not completely... Let me check how strong the dwarfs are now. Okay, they're pretty weak. Okay, I think maybe it is safe to go ahead and build this. And then we're going to go ahead and also build this. Yeah, just for the money. We definitely need the money. Okay. And then that means that's all of our money, so that's all we can do. We have a public order issue here. We will worry about this later. At least he's got 16 units here. 
Okay, man, there's this is so stressful. This campaign is just just so stressful in the early going. Okay. Um I think at this point I can probably change you from control over to Let's do this. I wish there was something here that would be more of a defensive, like to slow down enemy armies, but... Okay, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and check out... Uh, what, wait a minute, we still have a building up? Oh, the blood swamps, okay. Yeah, we don't... We don't want to do any... I guess I could do this. It's only 250 and we get 80 per turn. For both of those, actually. They would pay, they would pay off in about three turns. A little bit more than three turns. Now, because I, it's too likely that I'll lose it. So, not going to. Diplomacy. There's one lizard man faction we're not at war with. Okay, let's just see here. Submit to your Katep. It would be nice if we could get a trade agreement going with the Awakened, and they are at least at war with some of the same factions we are. Okay, um... Alright. Let's go ahead and just kind of end our turn and... and see if Krokgar pops up right here. He very well might. Not Krokgar. Gorek. Okay, Itza, here he comes. He's not laying siege. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, are you guys going to land? Can you possibly move to a helpful location? Like where you could join me? Nope, you're not going to join me in a fight against Itza. That's unfortunate. You're going to dig. Okay, why not? Citadel of Dusk, that was the faction I was trying to think of. That's the High Elves down there in the uh, Peninsular area. Sort of the, uh, I guess that's the... That's the Straits of Magellan down there. All right, do you want peace? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I don't love the idea of taking it, but I don't want to continue with four against one. So that was good. Okay, so his loyalty right now is at nine out of ten. We could afford to do this. Ambush success chance plus 50%. All armies. Okay, that's tempting. Eschen Stalker. Loyalty plus... Yeah, let's let's do this. Recruit. Okay, mission successful. That's good. We got a Razor Standard out of it. I'll take it. Foreign Trespass. Okay, so that's Luther right there. And Slice and Gain to Rank. Okay. All right. I'm not yet ready to say things are looking up, but I feel a little bit better only fighting three enemies than I do fighting four. You can take magical reserves. Why not? Okay, Lord Skrulk. I need to send you down. Yeah, I feel like I did this in the last episode. Let's see how things look down here. It's got two armies. This is why I took Tail Stretcher. Because I am going to go into ambush stance. And ambush the first army that comes up this way. Alright. Works for me. We are losing Winds of Magic, which I don't love. But we're going to offer ourselves up as a little bit of bait. I do really want... Okay, unfortunately I can't recruit any more heroes. I, I want to get somebody up here 
taking a look at Itza. How strong are my Lizardmen enemies right now? Itza has crept up a little bit stronger than us now. The others are a little bit weaker. Eats has got five settlements. Okay. Um, Katep, are you fighting anybody? Oh, you're fighting the dwarves. And you're also fighting the dark elves. That's bad. Bad for you, I mean. Okay, the awakened. I am the pilot. You guys are doing pretty well. Let's see what you are doing down here with your armies. You went... I've got to remember that that guy right there, he's just kind of sitting there, isn't he? Interesting. Okay, you... How do we feel about attacking you? You're a 13 stack. Yeah, we don't feel very good about attacking a 13 stack with a level 1 lord and a bunch of Skaven slaves. So never mind. Um, however... I need to get this up. Always feel a lot better with a tier 3 garrison fortified entries instead of the tier 2 alarmed tunnel because the units are so much better. But unfortunately, priority number 1 has got to be the capital here, the provincial capital. Blood swamps, I'm just going to let you guys sit there for the time being. Subatune, it looks like you are in pretty good shape, so I... At least I didn't miscalculate with that. The Star Tower, we could actually get ourselves an improvement here in our port. It's an additional 75 income per turn. For about a thousand, it's a... It's a fairly long payoff for that to happen. I probably have a better use for the money elsewhere. Food-wise, we're at least looking good. And the Confederation is giving us a minus four here. That is only going to last for one more turn. Then this will change to minus three. So it's not great. The public order is not great, but I'm not in imminent danger of a rebellion, at least. And then Fuming Serpent, I'm assuming that that's just kind of sitting there waiting to be taken. You know, we're the only Skaven in this area, so... It's just ruins. Probably be worthwhile to get a Lord up there to settle it, but the problem is getting a Lord up there to settle it. Alright, meanwhile, so we've got... We've got Skrulk down here. You're only at loyalty six. Oh, that's because I did the event. Never mind. Let's go ahead and race you down here. Run, fools, fools. That by itself should not look like that strong of a force to Tehenowin. He should be happy to come up here and try to destroy that force and give us a chance to ambush him. And then you... You know what? You could probably take that army right there. I think we could get away with that. And if you can destroy that army, then you could also get up here to help settle Fuming Serpent. Or to reinforce a battle here at Altar of the Horned Rat if that hasn't already happened by that point. The Lord himself is at seven. He can do okay against these lizards. The lizards are already damaged. And we do have 100 Skaven corruption here, so we'll have lots of menace belows. Okay. Are you recruiting? Not you. Are you recruiting? You are not currently recruiting. I think we just want to go ahead and do this. They're almost worthless, but not completely. Building upgrade available. No. 
No. No. No. Okay. Oh boy, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, check our diplomacy out. Okay, now how much would you give us? 266. 502 or a trade agreement. Yeah, the problem with that is your your destruction is imminent, and I don't really know that there's any reason for us to... Well, you know what? 500 is not nothing. I'm definitely not going to concern myself too much with the uh, with the trade agreement because I don't think he'll live long enough to uh, to for that trade agreement to amount to much oh this is very close likelihood of success moderate can we 154 yeah it's worth it that's worth it Luther Okay, all right. Three against one, but at least we don't have to worry about Luther now joining up with them. At least I assume we don't have to. I think he's less likely to declare war on us now that we have a non-aggression pact. And time to cross our fingers once more. Supervisor, very good. Always like getting that for my lords. Okay, Itza. As long as it's just the one... Come on, come on, come on, come on. You didn't go far enough. Okay, there's Gorok. Yes, he's going up to the Blood Swamps. You're leaving. Okay, interesting. Yeah, we knew we were going to lose the Blood Swamps. That's fine. Okay, where are you going, Luthor? Are you going to attack that army? No, you're not, but you're close enough to reinforce if I can attack it. I don't think I can reach it, however. Not this turn. Okay, so I'm very disappointed in Tehinawin. He did not move up in March stance. So we don't have an automatic ambush against him, but we do have the plus 50%. So maybe we can still ambush him. That stance that he's using right now, I don't know if this gives him a defense against ambush. It does. That figures. Dagnab, it's almost like... Well, he, it, he did. He pulled ambush foiled. He pulled us... I... Okay. I just got to vent a little bit. This is so absolutely aggravating for me. Maybe somebody can explain to me what I'm not understanding. But Lord Skrulk has over a 100% chance to ambush before we add in the extra 50% that we're getting from this event that's happening. And he was nowhere near us. And he still pulled us out of ambush stance before he started moving because he moved in the correct stance, meaning that he knew that we were there already. What is the point of having a 150% chance of ambushing if it's essentially a 0% chance of ambushing? I just don't get it. Okay, anyway, rant over. Let's go ahead and... Uh, okay, supervisor, yes. Disciplinarian, we'll take it. Units recruited, fine. Okay. Got the uh, got the better defenses set up over here, so that's good. It's still not impervious to attack, but it's much, much better off than it used to be. Definitely less, less vulnerable than it was. Now, we can get you... We can't get you the whole way in in regular stance. But we could get you in in March Stance, and we can attack with Lord Skrulk. And I would like to think that this 50% defense chance that he's got for ambushes because of his um, 
his stance right here. All that should do is nullify this bonus that we get, meaning Skrulk should still have an excellent chance of ambushing, and yet I just feel like it's, it's almost certain that we won't successfully ambush. In terms of how our armies line up, we have very little in the way of missile units to deal with their flyers. He's got, he's got these blessed horned ones here. Blessed temple guards. Not great. Not great, but I kind of feel like our two armies together should be able to do it. Would I be silly for thinking that? Um, let me check his relative faction strength here. He's at 94, we're at 53, and the overwhelming amount of our force is right here. I kind of feel like we ought to be able to win it. What's the uh, Skaven? There's no Skaven corruption at all in here. That's disappointing. Well, we're going to try it anyway. We've got the food. We can add in some menace Below's. All right, here we go. Here's the moment of truth. Ambush. And even though it's an ambush, it's still a Pyrrhic victory. Very interesting. Okay, so we've got... We've got this that we may as well assign to... Let's give it to the best of our Plague Monks. Okay, let's fight the battle. Wow, if it's a Pyrrhic victory even with both of our armies, it's probably better that we didn't ambush him with just Skrulk's army. Maybe my rant actually was all for naught because it's a good thing that it didn't happen. Now, we don't want to fight his entire army with just Skrulk's army, so we're going to have to be backed up a little bit here and wait for our second army to come in. And sometimes we can kind of confuse the enemy where some of them come towards us and some of them don't, at least not at all at the same time. So that would be nice. Main thing here is where do we want our catapults to start out shooting? And I think we want to hit the blessed temple guards. They're a little bit hidden there by the trees, unfortunately. They're not going to be the easiest things to hit, but we're going to try it. And then we're going to defend them with our ranged units. Where are we? We're coming in right here. Okay, let's... Let's maybe get them a little bit more... Oops, didn't mean to do it like that. Sorry, just you guys. Just you guys a little bit further. There we go. You guys back here to help defend from the flyers if they come towards us. We only have one spear unit. You're here to help defend if the flyers start coming at the catapults. We'll, we're going to move those catapults almost right away. We, I just don't think we have much choice in the matter. And then we're going to go ahead and get a defensive line back here. We just need to delay for two and a half minutes. More like this. We'll do some fighting in the woods if we need to. You guys all back here. If you're hidden, that suits me fine. Same with you guys. You can all be hidden. Okay, we're going to start out targeting them. And then as soon as we see who moves towards us, we'll start backing up. Okay, why are we not 
There we go. Okay, there's a little bit of damage. Okay, here we go. Some are coming towards us, and some aren't. Okay, that suits me. Okay, you gotta stop shooting at them, because... They are very quickly going to be... What, 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 what are you guys doing, okay? Yeah, they're getting too close to us here. We'll get a couple more shots off and then we'll back up. Let's get you back. Let's get you guys back, okay. It looks like a lot of them are going to run away. But not all of them. If this is all they're going to send towards us... Okay, you guys get back. Get back. Get back. Oh, I forgot to do my menace belows. That was dumb of me. Okay, all you guys forward. Yeah, you guys are going to take some damage because I forgot about the menace belows. Okay, here we go. We got some... I uh, got a serpent here coming. I guess that... That's a lure... Oh, I'm sorry, a hero named serpent, I presume. Okay, are they running now, or are they going to come towards us? A little bit hard to tell. Let's keep you guys moving like this. Let's get you guys continuing to move back. Let's get you guys in like this. Let's get you guys going. Do any of you ha Can any of you speed up? You can indeed. Okay, let's see if we can lock them down. You go ahead and charge in here. You go ahead and charge in here. You three go ahead and move up. Okay, if we can get... We can get a summon off. That would be nice. Are they all just going to keep running? It looks like they're all just going to keep running. Okay. Well, that's... That's not exactly ideal. We wanted to be able to kill some of them. Maybe we can still get him. Oh, there we go. Maybe... Maybe they'll let us hit him. Let's get you guys headed in that direction also. Let's get you guys headed up here. Okay, go ahead and go towards him. Okay. They haven't... It's a little hard to tell exactly what they're doing. Let's get all of you guys now headed up this way. Okay. We should... We should have a chance here. Okay, that's good. At least we can do some damage to them here. You guys... Where did his hero... Oh, his hero is over here now. Alright, at this point we can go ahead and get the catapults moving forward again. Let's get them up here. Let's get you now moving over this way. Maybe we can cut off... These guys, between the three of them. If we can just get them entangled, that would be good. Did we catch up over here? We did not. You guys, however, should be able to speed up. One of you go towards him, the other one of you go towards him. Okay. Let's just keep everybody moving. Okay, this looks promising. There we go. We'll get them at least. Not you. You... Oh, man. I hope I didn't just screw up my opportunity there to... to get him. Okay. 
All right, Skrulk, where are you at? Okay, let's get Skrulk moving here. Oh my god, how'd they get away? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I had them completely surrounded and they broke free. That does happen in warfare in times when it doesn't make any sense, but it, it definitely does. Let's get you into the trees. Let's get you... Okay. Did we slow him down enough to hit him? Get around behind. You actually circle around behind. You two. If we can get these guys fighting us, let's keep trying to circle around for them. Let's try to get all of our all of our slingers firing at him. You guys keep keep going this way. Okay, are you all on on him? That's the most important thing. You actually can go ahead and chase them again. You stay on him. Okay, we're taking a little bit of damage here. That's not exactly what we want. Alright, how are our catapults doing? Catapults, you guys can go ahead and hit him there. Now, you guys. You can get a summon off here. Okay, take care of them. You can go ahead towards them. I don't know what his flyers are doing, but his flyers unfortunately can fight us, can just shoot at us with impunity because... We can't really do much about them. I guess we could, at this point, we could go ahead and get our, um, our slingers up here on them. Catapults, are you still shooting at them? You are. Those guys broken, but they still got away. It's unfortunate. Let's get our catapults moving up here. I'd really love it if some of them would swoop down and attack me in melee, but I guess that's just not likely to happen. Oh, this is good. This is good. I'm glad we called up to... to them. Let's go ahead and... Okay, shattered. These are guys are all broken now. They're all shattered. Well... Yeah, it's disappointing. We... We had a chance to inflict a lot more casualties here than we did, unfortunately. And I... At this point, I don't think we're going to do any more, so let's go ahead and... End the battle. Anytime we can kill three times as many lizards as they kill rats, I, I have to think that's still a, a success. But we ambushed him and barely scratched his army. Hopefully it will be time for us to get another plague going soon. The last one really only hit one army that we cared about, but... If you keep trying it over and over again, it will eventually hit the ones that you want. One hundred seventy-one measly gold, huh? At least we got some experience out of it. Do we need the food? I'll take the treasury. Okay, reinforcement range. Oh, that's good. That's quite nice. Channeling staff, Skaven brew. Okay, let's uh, zoom back in on our mini map there. Yeah, see, he's going to heal right away and. 
we cannot actually get we can't get close enough to him okay I can go back into ambush stance I'm gonna back up you can just stay right there if he immediately pulls me out of ambush stance he might very well bring this army up and help out and uh, that would obviously be a worst case scenario but you know sometimes you got to take risks I've got a I've got to hope that there's a chance I could do an ambush with a hundred percent chance plus the extra 50. Anyway, that's we're kind of committed to it now. So you you're doing okay. Actually, you know what we could do here now that we know that Gorok is very nice. Okay. Now that we know that Gorok is up there, maybe we can entice him to come down and attack our city and get him in an ambush here where the garrison would come out and help us. That would be very, very ideal if we could do that. Meanwhile, you are busy trying to chase down this guy. We do have a hundred. Okay, I'm going to do this in use underway stance because if he does intercept me, I don't think he would actually do it. But if he did, no, no, I'm going to, I'm going to do it regular stance. I just don't want to, I don't want to give up the opportunity to fight him with, um, with the Vampire Coast here joining us in favor of a battle where it's uh, it's just our army against theirs. Meanwhile, we are four turns away from being able to do another plague. Is there any reason to do the 13th scheme? I don't think it's the best use of our money. Okay, everybody is in a good strategic position. We're losing 500 per turn. Don't love that. Something's got to change here very soon. We'll get a little bit... No, we're not getting any more money out of that. We're not getting any more money out of what's going on over here. I probably need to get a garrison building built up over here. You. Okay, and we're actually going to lose money here. So I need to be very careful about our money situation. So maybe I need to get rid of this guy. I guess it was a 640 gold mistake. 500 to recruit him and we paid maintenance for one turn. But that's okay. That'll happen. That at least saves us a little bit of money now. All right. Yeah, we... I don't think we're going to upgrade any buildings right now with our money situation. Diplomacy. Supreme. My madness is... Attend your kid. Hello. All right. Let's see what happens. We're at 45 minutes. We got enough time for another battle if it happens over the end of turn. Shab here did not immediately get pulled out of ambush stance, but Lord Skrulk did. Yep, just immediately got pulled out of ambush stance. Okay, I'm not going to fight this. It's just a, a field battle that we had no intention of winning. And we have no chance of winning. And he occupied it. That's fine. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Coward. Uh. 
All right. What are you guys doing now? You're not really doing much. Southern Sentinels, what are you going to do with your little army here? If you want to just stay right there, that would suit me fine. Nope, he's running away. Okay. Very unsuccessful end turn for us. I wouldn't call it catastrophic, but definitely disappointing. We're now back to losing 283 per turn in, in Buscador. That's good. Not that the extra ambush chance ever has any help, uh, ha ever has any benefit for us. It's basically, it feels like the lizard men are just immune to being, to, to, uh, to ambushes when they're moving. Okay, so we got some money out of that. That's very much needed. Talisman of Preservation is really nice. We'll take that for sure. Armor of Silvered Steel. We'll definitely take that as well. Okay. So, um, decisive defeat. Yes, we know. They did occupy the Blood Swamps. That suits me fine. That puts them on a border with the Awakened. That might be nice. Maybe Luther will fight him. Um, okay, so... Deserters of Katep are now destroyed, and we have encountered, um, what's his name? Starts with an R. I forget it. Um, okay. All right. Yes, your name is Rakarth. I, I was even going to say Rakarth. Okay. All right, um, I'm trying to think if I've ever played him. I've played most of the Dark Elf Lords, but I'm not sure if I have ever played him. All right, well, since ambushing doesn't work, you got to be kidding me. That's all we're getting is 150 from raiding. Well, that's ridiculous. Okay. Well, this this has un been most unfortunate down here. Most unfortunate. All right. We're heading up here to Chupiatl. And you can keep trying to chase him. Or maybe you can just keep moving towards Chupa Yaldo yourself. We can move you to here. No, I don't think we want to race to get there, and we don't want to put ourselves in a... in a situation where... where he could get uh, attacked with no one to help reinforce him because his army is obviously pretty pitiful. Now you, you could ambush him, but he's not close enough to, to bring out the garrison. So that defeats the purpose of that. So instead, you're, and I shouldn't have pulled him out of ambush stance because now I have to move him somewhere else where he can actually go back into ambush stance because he's too close to to an enemy army now. How about over here? There we go. Let's kind of cross our fingers, but it didn't work before. I can't imagine it's going to work now. Okay, did I move everybody? Kind of seems like I did, okay. All right, um... Okay, Alter the Horned Rat. We can go ahead and get you up to three. I'm gonna go ahead and... 
kind of shrink this army down a little bit. Okay, we're at minus 189 now. It's untenable, but it'll last a little bit longer. And we're going to have to just have a fight here in the next turn or two. Let's go ahead and do... We can't afford any building upgrades. We got research to do, however. Ruthless plans. Food generated one. We'll take it. I can't believe I haven't done that already. Huh. Okay, we're still... Okay, this is actually pretty good. Our food situation is about as good as it can be. Let's go ahead and check our diplomacy out. They, the Citadel of Dusk obviously hates us. How much does Rikarth hate us? Born to command. Fair amount. Fair amount. And he's stronger than us, so wouldn't be at all surprised if he attacks us. But he is also at war with this minor Cornish faction over here. Okay. All right. Time to see how bad another end turn can be. I love how we got this special event to give us a plus 50% in ambush, and every attempt to ambush still fails. Okay, maybe, maybe we can get that smaller army. It's worth a try. Okay, so this is bad. He's... Okay, he didn't fall for it. He didn't pull me out of it, out of ambush stance. But he also didn't move towards... Towards the city. Okay, well, the Awakened aren't exactly friends and they're not exactly helping. Okay, so even though we were in ambush stance, he still behaved as if he knew that we were there. Do Lizardmen factions just naturally have this power where they they can see ambushing armies? Because that's the way that they behave. The Shadow Gore War Herd. Where are you guys at? We can't tell. Population surplus, whatever. Okay, so Sotek. Okay, that's good. Sotek and, and Rakarth have gone to war with one another. That will help for sure. Or I shouldn't say for sure, but it should. Oh, there's the Shadow Gore War Herd. Well, that's about the... No, it's not the worst possible place because maybe he'll raid the Southern Sentinels. Who am I kidding? We know perfectly well he's going to come up and raid our territory. All right. If if we can get an ambush here, then we could go ahead and fight this battle. If it doesn't turn out to be an ambush, we're going to have to retreat from it. But let's go ahead and try it. We have no ranks to apply first. Let's... Ambush. Okay. That's what we want. We get two minutes below. It's very good. Is that enough? I'm going to go ahead and take some more. We're still up in the... Uh, in the highest part of our food. And we'll get more food if we win the battle. So now we have to destroy some of his units. We cannot let him get away. Oh, I forgot to put the the uh, Talisman of Preservation on somebody. That's 16% ward save. That needs to be on somebody. Okay, so this is the direction that he's headed. Everybody... All you guys come up, come from this direction. You guys come from this direction with you on the side. You guys up here. You guys here. 
if somebody gets up here towards our, our plague throwers, uh, our plague claw catapults, got confused between plague claw catapults and grudge throwers there for a second. Anyway, if they do, we'll, we'll use some menace balloons to try to help save them. Or maybe we'll, we'll, we'll get one of these units. We'll, we'll keep one of you. No, you're the best one. I don't want to use you. We'll use you as defense. Actually, let's just go ahead and set you up over here. Okay. And you guys obviously need to be on the Pterodon Riders. Let's start deployment. And lo and behold, I think we're done with deployment. Let's... Actually, I'm going to get you a little bit more closer to our other units. Start battle. Shoot at them. You go down there. You guys go ahead and start charging forward. You guys as well. You guys try to hit... You can hit those uh, sore spears. Oh, okay, this is this is bad. This is bad. Where did they... Oh, they're stalk chameleon stalkers. Okay. Let's go ahead and get you guys involved in the fighting. Let's get all three of you on him. No. Uh, you go after him. Now you guys can come out and hit from behind. You can go ahead and come forward now. Let's go ahead and get a, an attack off on these chameleon skulkers over here. Let's also do a summon here on them. If we lose Skaven Slave Singers, Slingers, I don't really care. I've got you guys on the Croxagores, which is what we want. And we've got another unit of clan rats here. Okay, get on those those guys. Okay, fellas, let's hurry up here. How are we doing? We'll go ahead and take it. Why not? We'll go ahead and take this as well. Keep doing damage to him. Okay, the catapults now. Try to hit back here. It looks like you are all already, so that's good. Okay, uh, you guys actually didn't do too bad. Let's let's get you out of there. Let's go ahead and hit over here again. Hit these guys from behind. Okay, can we get you guys shooting at his pterodon riders? Okay, we want to kill that Lord. Okay, let's go ahead and get you guys into the fighting over here. We're probably hitting our own units with some of those. Okay, you guys help out over here now. You get back here. If he recovers and starts going at our catapults, we'll get him. Okay, how did you get so far away from the Croxagores? Oh my goodness, units just do not do what I ask them to do. Drives me absolutely bananas. Okay, we need you on the... on the uh, Chameleon Skulkers here. At least they're fighting us, which is what we wanted. Now, let's see here. Go ahead and hit. I think these are pretty much all the summoned clan rats, so who cares if we hit them? You can go ahead and hit these guys from behind. All right. How are we doing, Skrulk? You are not even fighting. Why not? Oh, no. yes, you are. You, we killed the enemy lord. That is awesome. Okay. Let's get you on him as well. Go ahead and get another summon off over here. You can back up. Let's also get a uh, a debuff on these guys. Very good. Okay. 
Keep hitting those red crested skinks. We're not going to be wiping them out, but we did a fair amount of damage to them. I would really like it if we could kill this uh, this hero. Is he faster than we are? His speed is 46. Our speed is 40. Yes, he is faster. Okay. We do have a couple more menace balloons that we can use to maybe slow him down. Let's keep hitting... Hit those Croxagores. You guys all try to get them. You can shoot at him. Get over here. You guys try to get ahead of him. And meanwhile, let's also get a Menace Below up over here. Okay, come on. We can do this. We can do this, guys. I have faith in you. No, I don't. Okay, you can chase after him. Alright, we're over an hour now, but we're doing... We're doing some damage to... To Hennewin, plus he's now at war with Rakarth, so... Maybe this is going to be enough to... To take the Southern Front out of contention for the time being. We are really not doing much damage over here, are we? Let's get you guys continuing over here. You guys are... You've probably done about all you can do... ...to those Croxagores, unfortunately. Okay, this... These guys are probably just getting in the way right now. Let's go ahead and get another summon over here. I just want to slow him down so that our character units can do more damage to him. Okay, let's get both of you guys with your uh, speed buff there. Okay, how's he doing? 547, let's go ahead and speed things up. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, nice. All right, I'll take it. Wasn't uh, flawless, but we definitely needed it. We needed some good news. We took out two character units. We took out a couple of... of... Uh, Source Warriors, I guess those are. We damaged everything. The Croxagores did a lot of damage to us. We should get some decent experience. More importantly, we're going to get some money out of it. Which we desperately need. And we're going to have to wrap up this episode, unfortunately, after the hour and a half episode that I accidentally did last time. But, beginning of the next episode, we're probably going to have to turn Lord Skrulk around and run him back to the safety of our nearest garrison. Boy, the Skaven can be a lot of fun, though. They're so weak, and they run away constantly, and I have every reason why normally I wouldn't like them, because I have to fight battles with them differently than how I like to usually fight my battles. But yet, for some reason, they're just a lot of fun. Yep, 2,000 gold. We definitely needed that. Got a rank. D definitely can use that and get another almost 900 gold out of it as well. There's, I don't think the replenishment is going to be worth it. We obviously need money more than anything. But we do not dare... Warpstone armor. Okay, I hope I can remember to assign magic items at the beginning of the next episode. Because we've got too many that we currently uh, don't have assigned. This is a good sign, I think. He's bearing down right away. 
Rikarth is going to have to do something about this. So yeah, we're just going to we're just going to race back here. He's going to continue to head up this way to try to intercept that army maybe. Down here, we do have to worry about Itza. The marks of the old ones here, this is not very strong, unfortunately. It's a size 20 garrison, but it's not the strongest garrison. But it's, you know, it, he could probably hold out against that army anyway. And these guys... Warlock, master of okay, I'm actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and continue... No, I, I, I went so far over time, I can't afford to keep going over time again. Okay, besides, it's a bit of a cliffhanger, right? I just have to try to keep in my mind, I have to remember everything that we need to do here. So, Skrulk is going to race back to the north, maybe into the Sentinel of Time. Maybe he can go over this direction. Kakronid here, you're going to go in this direction. We're going to have to keep an eye here on the Shadowgore Warherd. You are going to... I think, I think you're going to try to lay an ambush here in case this army comes down to the marks. You can stay right here in case Gorok decides to land, and that will pull in the altar of the Horned Rat. Okay. Plenty to do. We got a little bit more money. We got a little bit of a cushion. We got the dwarfs out of the fight. We got the Dark Elves as the enemy of our enemy. So not exactly our friend, but at least it should help us out a little bit. Very good. We are going to leave it there for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.